All right, so we got another SAT math question here, and the question says, a culture of bacteria is growing at an exponential rate as shown in the table above. At this rate, on which day would the number of bacteria per millimeter uh, reach 5.1 times 10 to the power of 8? All right, so the first thing I want to do is just find the factor or the scale. Um, it's, it's known as the common ratio. And since it is a x growing at an exponential rate, we know it's a geometric sequence. So from 2.5 times 10 to the power of 5 to 5.0 times 10 to the power of 5, that's going to be a scale factor of 2. And because it's increasing at an exponential rate, it's going to be the same uh, rate between each value. So this is also 2x. All right, so now let's write our rule out. So we're going to write f of n, because we're going to write a function rule where n represents the number of days. We start off with our first term because that's just what is being affected at the start. So 2.5 times 10 to the power of five. And now we want to multiply this by our common ratio, which is more commonly known as just our you know, scale in between each one. So bring this down so you get two. And now this has to be raised to the power of n, the number of days, right? But something you'll find is we can't just leave it like that because if n equals 1, we're going to get 2 to the power of 1. And 2 times 2.5 times 10 to the power of 5 is not the same thing as 2.5 times 10 to the power of 5. That would instead give us the value for day 2. Therefore, we need to write a minus 1. And the reason for this is because n, uh, we called n starting at 1. Whereas if n was 0, then it would work out. So we have to include that minus 1, very important, in order for this function rule to work. And if you want, you can just plug in uh, day 1, day 2, day 3 into this equation. You'll see it works out. So now in order to find the day that it would reach this 5.12 times 10 to the power of 8, very simple here. We can just use our calculator. But to do so, we need to set up our little equation. So it's just this equation, 2.5 times 10 to the power of 5 times 2 power of n minus 1, and this is going to be equivalent to 5.12 times 10 to the power of 8. And in this equation, we're just going to solve for n, and I'll do the heavy lifting here with the trusty calculator, and that is going to give us a value of 12. So we know that the final answer is day 12, choice D.